Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome to a new series. Today we're gonna be playing Generation Zero. Now, I've talked about this game a bit on my channel, on the community page, and you guys uh, kind of wanted this to be an RP series, but I thought mm, it's probably not gonna work that well as RP series. Let's try doing a normal series first, and then we'll see if uh, you guys actually like it. So, this game just released on Steam, I believe it's in Early Access, uh, a couple of days ago. And... Uh, well, this is kind of a... I, I like to compare this game to The Long Dark. Uh, it's not a survival focused, but it's more action focused. So, it gives me the, the Long Dark vibe, but yeah. Uh, now, it's set in uh, the 1980s in alternate history Sweden, where they had a bunch of mechs guarding the whole place. And you are the guy that returns from, I think, a fishing trip and find out there's nobody anywhere around. And there's just a bunch of mechs running around that will shoot you in the face if you show them your face. So you can shoot them back, or you can sneak around them, or use radios and other devices to distract them. So it's pretty cool. I played for like an hour in this, and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. So I'm going to be playing this for, on the channel for a bit. Uh, I'm going to record a couple of episodes, and then you guys will tell me if this is something we'd like to see more or not. So, uh, you know what, let's just jump into the game. We're gonna create our character, uh, we're gonna be males, uh, let's be, I don't know, character, this guy, that's fine. Skin tone is fine, starting outfit, <laughs> you can be, you can be interesting guy. We can, we can have, oh, popular, huh, this is how it is, it could be a nerd. Metal head. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what? We're gonna be metal head. This give me the style. Let's go. Let's start the game. Uh, yeah, this is also multiplayer. Uh, I will disable multiplayer for this session because it's only gonna be me. But let's get in there. Generation Zero. Let's begin. After World War II, Sweden enjoyed an economic boom from having some unskated out of the war. Having come, yeah. But neutrality had come at the cost of integrity as the poor readiness has forced the country to make deals with Hitler. Intent on not ending up in the same situation again, Sweden's newfound riches were invested in the so called total defense, the ability to protect the border while also shielding and maintaining civil civilian life. Over the coming years, Sweden massively increased military spending while organizing the civilian preparedness for what increasingly seemed like an inevitable invasion from the east. Every man, woman, and child were drilled to be ready for the war, knowing exactly what to do and where to go when the sirens sounded, and most importantly, to offer resistance at all time at all times in all situations. Continue. So we are in 1989, you and some classmates have spent a few days out in the archipelago cut off from the world. As you return, your boat is suddenly hit by explosive projectiles fired from shore. You don't know what fired at you or why, but you managed to make it to shore injured but alive. Let's get in, boys. New mission, break of dawn. This place is not safe, maybe you can find some help in a nearby house. So, we are in, uh, let's go into settings and... I need to disable that thing if I gonna remember where that is. Is that in the multiplayer? Uh, there you go. Invite only. Sure. Okay. Let's get out of there. So, um, we are here. We are near. And let's go. Now, this, this game has a huge map. We are here. And this map is ginormous, as you can see. Uh, so we can spend our time trying to find out what happened and uh, see what happened to the max etc etc or we can just go around completing this world missions or other missions like uh, I've seen one where you, where you uh, found like a letter and it told you hey there's this gun out there you might want to go find it and it's like yeah sure and I never found it <laughs> but you know I played this game for like a for like a hour I think so, uh, otherwise it's normal, you, you know, jump, you run, and uh, if you find a gun, you punch, and that's that's the gist of it. Y you punch with the gun, but no, you shoot with the gun. And uh, basically the way this works is you go around and see what resources you can find and what you can do, what you can use, and you know what, things actually move around. Now, the only thing that is kind of weird with this game still is the save system. So this over here is a safe house. Um, we, we came here, he told you, hey, there's some loot and stuff. We got some XP, we can level up. There's actually a whole uh, 
skill system over here. Combat, support, survival, tech. Yeah, no idea what all these things are, but... Hey, spotting intel. Increase the amount of information provided when spotting. Don't know what that means. Increase extra stamina. Throwing accuracy, sure. Uh, so about the saving, so I have uh, done some saving and when you load back in, occasionally you'll see stuff that you already blow up like a car, it would be completely fine suddenly. Uh, loot respawning, I've seen that happen as well. Uh, I've never seen enemies respawn, so there is that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, this is also not creepy over here. <laughs> uh, just saying, things like that can and will happen. I've seen a lot of reports from people saying that their game didn't save at all. So, uh, just bear that in mind. We might have to do some, like, replaying uh, of things if something gets missing and stuff. But, hey, it's early access, I believe. So, it's all good, right? Pick up the flashlight. Yes. We shall pick up the flashlight and... There you go. Search the house for anything of use and search the police car. So these are the mechs. Look, there's a mech over here. Someone shot it in the face. Apparently, you can... Um, uh, mechs have parts, so you can disable certain parts. And depends on how much damage you do to them when you murder them. Uh, it, some of the parts might stay alive and you can grab them. Oh, we actually found a gun right away. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, we have a pistol, no ammo, of course. Clearly, that is that is tradition. So we're gonna do a bunch of uh, looting around here and trying to see what useful stuff we can find before we go out there. Now, as I said, I played for like an hour, so can I have an idea what's going on? So there's a handwritten note. Let's read this. Mats, we tried to call you at home, but you probably rushed to the station as soon as you heard the readiness alarm. You have enough on your plate as it is, but in case you find us, you know that your mom and I are doing fine. We'll just drive over to the village and wait it out there. Be careful, mom and dad. Well, I mean, you just said that he's probably at the station, so why are you leaving this here for him? That's weird. Pick up the two first aid kits. Yes, I would like to do that. Now, what you can do is go into inventory, see how beautiful we are, and put the stuff like here. Uh, there's also... Is it under profile? Yes, you can basically uh, switch. You can find the stuff out there and... Uh, yeah, basically customize your person. I can do the necklace or not. Right now we haven't found anything, but from what I've been playing, there's a lot of stuff out there. So there's a lot to find, to be found out here. Uh, from what I've seen so far, at least. And as I said, I played for like an hour. Uh, we got an adrenaline shot. I believe you use this to revive yourself. I don't know what this... Oh, I guess th that's uh, that's makeup. Uh, we should have maybe like a face paint now. Uh, face paint. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Sure. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. So you find things like that and it's kind of cool. Yeah, I believe the adrenaline shot uh, will revive you if you die. Now, there's been a way to make myself killed. Uh, and I killed myself that way. Explosions. They are way bigger than you'd expect. Like, I threw uh, like an exploding barrel like over there to the edge. And I shot it from, like let's say, over here. And it almost killed me. <laughs> Ooh. What is this? Are you sure mom and dad are okay? I'm not so sure, man. I'm not so sure. This is totally not creepy. Totally not a creepy wipe. And there you go. Let's search that. Oh, there you go. Explosive gas tank and some emergency flares. Not quite sure yet what the flares can be used for, but with that uh, tank, I blew up blew up a mech very very nicely. Before I'll have you know. I will have you know. Newspaper from October 10th. Let's check that. Newspaper from Friday, October 10th. The front page headline is: The Berlin Wall has fallen. Okay. Oh, that's that's nice. Good for that. Wall of them Berlins. Good for the Wall of them Berlins. Oh, let's check this. Okay, so we have a uh, camouflage and uh, some extra stuff. Let's uh, let's check that camo. It's probably face paint as well. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> no ramble. No, we're gonna go with the star. Star is gonna be fine. Uh, I like it. Okay. Hey, binoculars. Let's go. That's an important item, actually. Put it in here. Put it in! Is what she said. So there's the police car that the game wants us to go check out. So let the... 
check it out ourselves. Yeah, that police car hit a mech or two. Now, spoiler alert, but I know there's a mech nearby that car. And the game kind of wants you to go there, find some ammo that is hid there. Oh, look, there's a dick over here. Mm. Classic Sweden. Uh, but yeah, that's that's where we're gonna go and we can try blowing up that mech. Blow up that mech. Now this pistol, it's not really worth holding it in hand because, yeah, we have no ammo. But uh, there's still some things we can search. Now, you can, you can crouch and move stealthily, but as you move from underbrush like this, through underbrush like this, uh, you make noise and... Uh, Max will actually hear you, which is a really cool detail. I like it. They hear noise. They will also very much hear you if you sprint, etc. So, just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. There isn't much else over here, it seems. Let's go down to the dock. It seems to be getting brighter out there, which is nice. Probably don't need that flashlight anymore. It's not the sneakiest thing ever. Also, if you jump into water. Uh, let's actually jump into proper water. I'm gonna show show you that. Ooh, look at that! Uh, that's a lock pick hairpin. I've not seen uh, where that gets used yet, but I'm guessing uh, it's gonna be pretty useful. Oh, look at that! We have a we have a hat. Give me that hat. Oh, look! I shave my head if I do that. That's pink. Let's go. Let's go. I like that. Let's search this car. There might be something useful in here. Or also not useful. Uh, just uh, a word of advice. Stand further away from the doors when you open. I got stuck before. Okay, so let's let's check this. Woo! And you're back. <laughs> so you can't swim. If you didn't know. You can't swim. You're You're bad at swimming. So this is all you get. Basically not swimming. Let's go check this car. Let's see if it has anything in it. Do you has anything in you? No. No, you lied to me, car. You lied to me, that's fine. So yeah, this 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 game, as I said, it's giving me a bit of a the long dark vibe. And that's okay. It's like the it was like a picnic place over here. You have a uh, one goal over here, you know. Kids would uh, kick ball. It's uh, as is tradition, you know. As is tradition. Let's go into the tractor. Nothing in the tractor. Well, well, fuck. But there is this in here. Ooh, we got some ammo. Nine mil, twenty buckshot. Ooh, we have four different ammo things. So this thing has some ammo now. This is good. I think there's something, yeah, on the other side, we have some things. We have some things, more adrenaline shot, emergency flares, etc. That we can't really use right now. And our gas tank, oh, we have the aviators. Yes, please, uh, put these over here. Let's put one of these over here, just for the shits and giggles. Uh, let's go, eyewear. Oh, yeah. Oh, now we talking, son. Now we're talking. Okay, so we have some shots. Let's go find that mech that it's probably somewhere out there. Just chilling like uh, the good boy he is. Just chilling. That's my bucket. That's where I take shit every day. Uh, there's one more car we haven't searched yet. Let's go search that one. Hole to open. Mm. Uh, more ammo. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. I'll take it now. Do do. Fireworks. Let's take that. Okay, we still haven't found all the loot yet, but that's fine. Or the collectibles. So you hit a mech, huh? Oh, we can search the mech. It has some ammo as well. Sweet. Uh, looks like the police car also has some backpacks and stuff. Oh, look at that! Windbreaker jacket. Purple. Uh, we're gonna check that in a second. Let's uh, loot this bad boy first. Some more first aid kits. A ton of ammo. 
if you're wondering. A ton of ammo. The game is like, yeah, do you want to fight or not? More ammo, okay. So our next uh, mission is locate and destroy enemy. Which is kind of cool. Uh, let's do... Yo, give me this over here. And, oh, I was, uh, I wanted to check the jacket. Hmm. I mean, you gotta equip everything you find, right? It's basically the rule of uh, gaming. Let's uh, surprise this bastard who I believe is up here somewhere. We can't see, but since I play this, I kind of know. So I'm going to throw this here. Let's see if he's going to hear us. Yeah, he heard that. He's probably going to come to uh, check what's going on. Like the good boy he is. And then if he comes close to that, we can blow him up. Where are you, son? Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Don't know where you are, but I hear you. He's like, I refuse to get down here. I refuse to be debated. See? Oh, my carefully laid plans. Oh, he's coming. He's for sure coming. He's not coming in the right direction, though. Yo, boy, get next to that thing I want to shoot. Should probably stop moving as well. Hey, I'm here. Yeah, this way. This way, son. No, don't stand in the grass out there. Don't do that. Get on the road. On the road, my friend. On the road. Down here. He's like, I refuse. I'm not here. Oh, uh, he's careful. <laughs> Instant delivery. Let's go. Oh, this was glorious. You gotta admit that this was freaking glorious. <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying. Follow the road to look for a safe place. I shall. I shall definitely look for a safe place. Oh, this thing blew up as well. Told you that this has huge range. When something blows up, it has a huge range. Now, follow the road. Uh, this road goes this way. Now, this is as far as I got uh, when I was playing on my own. This here is like a church. And spoiler alert, there's like three mechs over here and like five or six mechs around here. Yes, I, I spoiled myself a bit. And it's okay. It's okay, uh, you know, I always just wanted to... Oh, there's a... Uh, oh, you're, you're showing me that house, aren't you? Yeah, you're showing me that house. I think. Are we gonna go in this direction? You're gonna go in this direction. Uh, I will probably not try fighting those mechs. Because it's probably gonna be dangerous, I mean... It, am I hurt? Why am I hurt? Why do you have, only have 77 HP? Did I get myself blown up as well a bit by that blast? Could be. Could be. Hmm. So I know those mechs are nearby. I think they're down there somewhere. Let's go check. I see nothing. Well, it would be a shame not to go check, right? I mean, it might not be the same every time you play. That's completely possible. Who knows? That is completely freaking possible. What is that thing? That's a, it's a road sign. The game can be quite beautiful, I'll have you know. I did uh, lower the... Oh, yeah. Someone seeing us over here. In this direction. I did lower the settings a bit just for the recording purposes, so you know we don't have any hiccups. Uh, to be honest, I'm one of those people that when I play a game, I can play it on ultra and I can play it on medium, and I'm not gonna spot the difference. I know it's probably a heretical opinion, but that's me. There's a mech. Oh, there it looks like a dog, doesn't he? I mean. 
what could possibly go wrong, right, if you fought these guys? Especially since I do have one more of these bad boys. I mean, can we debate them again? Possibly. They're like, yeah, we're coming to check what's going on. Now, uh, the way I position this, it's kind of going to be kind of hard to hit, probably. They're going to probably spot me before they get anywhere near that. But we did see the blast is pretty big. He's in there. Now, I don't know if there's more or if there's just one. There's one so far. Come closer, son. I don't think I hit him. He's like, no, I don't care. He's definitely gonna spot me now. Come on, a bit closer. Just a bit close. Okay, he saw me. He's gonna start shooting. He's not gonna start shooting. We got him. So yeah, I was playing here. Uh, oh, one combat. Good job. So I was playing here. Uh, there were definitely three of them. Three of them in the patrol. So it looks like things might change from uh, a playthrough to playthrough, which is uh, cool. It's pretty nice. I did have to delete my uh, character actually <laughs> before I started this because when you have a profile set, you can make like I think four or five characters and they all when you start they all start in the same world that you already be playing and uh, the same spot when your previous character was which is kind of weird uh you know S because you have like one profile with four characters why would you want to play a different character i don't know just you know maybe it's like uh, if you permanently die i don't know if you can on one character you can then respawn in the same spot with another so yeah there's uh, details. I don't know the details, right? It's getting very foggy out here. I'm not uh, the biggest fan of this fog. Especially because I can't really see what's going on right now. I thought I saw movement down there. Wow. This is even worse. Oh, there's some noises. Do you hear the noises? I'm pretty sure there were some mechs around this place as well. This place uh, up on the road. Not sure though. That's my name. Not sure. You're uh, very much in the open right now. But you know what? If something starts shooting in you, just zigzag. That always works, man. Always works. So it looks like we do have a quest over here. And some loot as well. Oh, yes. My favorite item. My favorite item of them all. So let's see that mission. Okay, letter found in a car was apparently sent to a hunter named Kurt Algren, living in a location called Björnknäs. Björnknäs? I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm sorry if you're from Sweden. Uh, I apologize already. On Ibo Holman. Ibo Holman. Judging by the location direction of the car, his house is probably nearby. With a bit of luck, the owner's hunting human will still be at their house. Location direction of the car. So you're telling me in this direction there's gonna be his house. I never went to check that by the way. This does not look like there's a house over here, but there's this huge thing out there. And that's what she said. Nothing to loot over here. Follow the road to look for a safe place. Maybe. Don't tell me what to do, game. Uh, let's take this all. And let's take this all. We got some makeup, I think. We got some makeup, boys. Isn't that exciting? Any makeup? I thought there was something else over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More first aid kits. I like that. I'm not gonna eat one yet just because I don't think we need to eat one yet. Uh, but so far, so good. So, um, like this is telling me that there's a house nearby, possibly. And uh, yeah. But I'm gonna go here because if the things are the same, then I know there's a weapon out there you can find. So, I'm gonna go look for that weapon. I think. That's going to be my next goal, but for now, of course, this is the per first part of the series, 
and uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode please let me know in the comments below and uh, also sharing it with your friends and stuff of course uh, you know helps a whole ton because yeah it, it does uh, especially the first part of the series is always the most important if you can share it but for now Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Should like subscribe and see more do magic, and I'll see you next time. Kick her out.